back to my channel, Milan Garcon, I'm your girl, Milan Garcon. I know I'm in a different setting. This is real Benji. First of all, I'm scratching my kitchen. Second of all, I'm at work and I'm about to do my own shot. Now, I've been going through it, you all. So that's why this is like so discombobulated. It's so everywhere. It is, in fact, three in the morning, and I am trying it by doing my own shot right now. It just is what it is, but you girl's gonna do what you girl's gonna do. So, um, it's technically Thursday, so I am four days late on my own shot, even though I have been taking it on Tuesdays because one day my prescription came late on a Monday. I was already asleep, so I had to do it on a Tuesday, so then I just started going, you know, still following my every week, once a week, so I'm doing it on Tuesdays for, like, maybe three, four weeks, maybe like a month. And then I was supposed to switch back to Mondays this week, but a lot happened on Monday. And I was supposed to do my own shot in Cleveland. I was home for Easter. That was a freaking reality check. It was so trans, it was so much. It was like my first holiday being home. Um, and everybody seeing me a year after transitioning. Cause I did not go home for Thanksgiving, Christmas and stuff. Cause I was working, I wanted to work. I wanted to collect the extra coin and whatnot. But um, it was pretty tragic, but it wasn't like tragic in a way of, of, of like, my family is supportive. My family is accepting of, you know, me being trans and all of that. But it's just like, baby, sometimes it's very hard for people to let the old you go. And I get that that takes time. But, like, we got to meet each other halfway. Like, it can't be a, you just give me as much time as I need and you'll be okay with that. Like, no, that's not the way this goes. It's like, I'm patient while you adjust. While we adjust, we build these, you know, relationships that are familiar but a bit different. So, you know, like, with my, with my mom, she had a really difficult time, like, with me being all of the things, like all of the things, not just, I would normally come home and like tone it down or wear my natural hair and things like that, not wear that much makeup and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm just not, I'm not doing a back and forth anymore. You know what I'm saying? But like, she hasn't seen me in a year. And last year, when I told her that I'd have been on hormones for four months, when I went home, she caught COVID. So we didn't see each other. So I was home just, you know, nursing her and yeah she was in her room quarantining and we couldn't really see each other in all of that so this was just kind of like a shock to everybody it was a shock to me it was a shock to them my dad was honestly the best my dad made it all worth it um i had a good time when i was home but it was it was a lot like i cried every day it was just a lot and then i was going to do a video with my mom i was going to do most shot money with my mom and then we ended up arguing so down like, but I mean, it's it's not like me and my mom, we argue, but like not all the time, but we go through our phases where it's like tension or whatever. Cause we've always had a mother daughter relationship, whether she wants to admit it or not. And I have to tell her that I'm like, she's like, why are we doing, I said, we do this all the time. And she's like, wow, I'm like, are you serious? I had to run down the, the, the history of my door is broken upstairs because I slammed my door when I was 16. My knee was busted when I did it because I stormed out the house. I used to call my dad, call my sister all the time, come pick me. Like we've had a mother daughter relationship my whole life. And I think it was just tough for her to just like finally be like, damn, you're different. Like, like you're different, you're a different person. She was like, I just used to you just being you. And I'm like, if that, I'll have to point to the old pictures in the house cause they still up. I'm like, if that's the you that you're talking about, that person is no longer here. Like it was tough. So I didn't take my mom shot on Monday. And I cried the whole way home on the plane. It was tragic. I know the boy sitting next to me thought I was crazy, but I apologized. He was like, no, I just hope everything's okay. He was so cute, he was kind, but, um, yeah, it just kind of threw me in a loop. So Tuesday, I just like rested down. Um, I did not do my own shot. And then yesterday, I had like two cocktails after work. So that kind of made me iffy if I should do it or should I just wait till the next day? So let's do it. I'm about to wash my hands. I have all of my stuff, my alcohol wipes, everything right here. I'm going to keep talking to y'all, but I have my phone sitting on top of the self dispenser. So this is like being itchy, being itchy. But all in all, like me and my mom, like we talked, but of course it's given like, I feel like she kind of needs her time because it was a very heated argument. It was like, but see, here's the thing. I was in tears the whole time. This thing was raging. 
And it could be looked at like I was raging too, which I'll, I'll accept that. But it's just like, girl, at some point, like, we all got to be a little selfless. And we all got to be patient with each other. And you can't be upset that I, you know, my feelings are a bit hurt because it kind of seems like everybody hasn't been using my correct pronouns when I'm not here. And a lot of people think it's easy to just kind of like switch back and forth. And like when you're around, use your correct pronouns. But no, babe, it's, it's not that easy. Like you're not just gonna go from calling me the wrong pronouns when I'm not around to all of a sudden when I'm around, just able to use the correct pronouns. And it was showing. And I think that guilt was like eating at her and my aunt at the dinner table, but I was not reacting. I was being patient. And then my thing is, is if you fuck up publicly, apologize publicly or, or just take accountability publicly or just correct yourself so everyone else knows it's okay to correct yourself in a moment. Like you are my biggest like teacher right now when I'm not here. So like they're going to follow what you do, mom. And if you are using an incorrect pronoun and then not correcting yourself in that moment at the dinner table in front of everybody, then it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. And of course, I'm not going to just lash out on you. Like I'm just not that person anymore. Now I was, I was making little, I was making little remarks and stuff, but it wasn't nothing like crazy. And it just seemed like she wasn't catching on to like the correct yourself love. And she tried to apologize when I went to go get something to drink in the kitchen. And it just kind of seemed like, well, n no, you don't have to do this big apology and this big hug. I know you love me. That's not the topic of discussion, babe. The topic of discussion is why are we not using the correct pronouns? That's the topic at hand. And... That's all that we need to be focused on. Hold on. Hmm. That was tough today. But yeah, it's just like, it's all about taking that accountability in the moment. That way other people around also know it's okay to take accountability. You don't have to make it awkward. You don't have to like make it a big production to apologize. Like all of that is not needed. You just switch the pronoun real quick and then you call it a day. And then you do your best to not make the same mistake. That's it. Mm-mm. The little bit of moles come back out. What's going on, man? Mm-mm. I could have got a band-aid from the first aid kit too, but I did that. It's not bleeding. Yo, this is about as much muscle as I got left. Ain't that coming? Okay, we did it. I'm so happy. Okay, put Simone's shot back in the box. Put that back in purse. Put sweater back on because I did not wear this to work, y'all. There's no way y'all thought a work came here. People can barely take me in a dress. I'm just kidding. They live when I get dressed. I just feel like they don't deserve it. They can treat me any kind of way. Okay. Thank God because my legs was like all weird and shit before I got here, but I just fixed it. Okay. I got to work maybe like 10 minutes early. I'm sure it's probably still like 30 minutes after I was supposed to be at my desk, but you know what? I had to do that. I had to put me first, Lucius, back. <sighs> so sorry that my Mom's Shot Mondays have been coming to you all later than normal, but I'm doing my very best um, living my trans life. Mwah. Um, I will see y'all in my next one. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been no fun. Mwah.